Good morning boys and girls, I'm Dizzy, welcome back to Call of the Wild and welcome back to Hirschfelden. In this video I will show you how to hunt fallow deer in the base game reserve Hirschfelden in Germany and get your own diamond fallow deer on single player just like I did. Now this is going to be a special one because Hirschfelden is my absolute favorite reserve and fallow deer are one of my favorite animals on it. And although we can now hunt fallow deer more easily on the New Zealand reserve, Hirschfelden diamonds count double in my opinion. So if you want to prove you are an elite hunter, go to Hirschfelden and show me a diamond fellow there. And I hope this guide will help you get it. First we'll take a look at the weapons and equipment you will need on your hunt. And after that we'll talk about strategy and I'll show you my drinking zone map for fellow there on Hirschfelden. That will help you grind more quickly and effectively, which is uh, something you will need on Hirschfelden. Fellow deer are a medium sized deer species, they are a very popular game animal in many countries. In the game they are categorized as a class 4 animal and as such you can use a large variety of weapons to shoot them. If you are just starting out you can shoot them with the starter rifle, the 243. You'll need good shot placement to avoid the shoulder bone and if you use the free soft points go for broadside shots only. The most popular rifles for fellow deer are the 6.5 or 7mm, the 30-06 Eckers NM1 or the new 303 from the New Zealand DLC. Handguns you can use include the 44 or 454 which I can both recommend. The 420 grain arrows or bolts or 540 grain traditional arrows are recommended for bow hunters. The weapon I use on them is again the M1. It's an amazing weapon for mass murder. No other rifle beats this one at speed and usability. I do only recommend it for mouse and keyboard users. I'm not that good with a controller, so the recoil for me is only acceptable when using a mouse. Maybe you can handle it on the controller as well, but if you're having trouble with the recoil, I would recommend the 30-06 Eckers or the 303, or a lot of practice. There is only one caller you can use on fellow deer and it's the antler rattler. It has a range of 200 meters which is enough to call out fellow deer out of the thick Hirschfelden brush. I don't recommend hunting without it, especially with the strategy I'm going to show you. If you don't get the fellow deer to move out from their positions you won't be able to spot every animal so you might miss out on some big ones and you'll have to take a lot more difficult shots as well. Now for the strategy, you can use two different strategies to hunt fellow deer in Hirschfelden. You can either hunt them during their feeding times in the fields or during drinking times along the rivers, lakes and coastlines. The fields are a good option in the eastern part of the map. They are easy to spot during their feeding time and they can't hide in the brush or behind terrain when they are in the fields. On the other hand, you will also find fellow deer in different areas than the large open fields of the east. The southwest and center north of the map also has fallow deer and they do not feed in the fields but in the forest. They are very widespread on the reserve and therefore I would still recommend to hunt fallow deer during drinking times. If you still want to hunt them in the fields that's possible from 530 to 900 in the morning. But for this guide I'm going to use the drinking times. Hunting the drinking zones limits the areas you need to cover significantly. They can only drink at watering holes like rivers and such, while feeding can be done anywhere in the forest. So drinking zones give you less ground to cover, but they are a little bit more difficult to hunt. The full time slot in which the drinking zones are active is from 900 to 1330. But if you want to be sure all of the drinking zones are active, I recommend using the time slot from 930 to 1300. That way you won't miss out on any fellow there still feeding somewhere. This time slot is 3.5 hours in game, which is about 50 minutes real time. Before I show you the drinking zone map, I'll have to warn you, hunting fellow deer at their drinking zones is not for the faint of heart. Some drinking locations are very hard to hunt because the forest brush and coastal reeds can limit your vision a lot. That's why I recommend keeping the collar close and you should always look out for the high ground and good cover. Remember that the caller works from within 200 meters and the animals can see, hear and smell you from about 150 meters. So you have an advantage between those two distances. You should make it your top priority to always put a waypoint on the spot you see on my map and stalk or ambush very carefully. 
It is more important to scout the need zones carefully so you can spot and kill the high level bugs than it is to save some time on traveling or stalking. This will test your patience and be a big challenge in some locations, but that's also the reason I like to hunt there and consider it an elite hunting reserve. With this drinking zone map you will know exactly which areas to visit and find your fellow deer. Remember that this map is a result of countless hours of fellow deer hunting. The zones on here will not all be active at the same time. They are possible locations the simulator is using for fellow deer. But if you hunt for them as long and as hard as I did, you will eventually find fellow deer zones at all of those locations. The key strategy is the main one I've been talking about in all of my guides for single player. You have a certain amount of animals on your map which are all distributed to different herds. These herds all occupy different areas on the map and they exchange respawns with each other. So for example, if you kill two fellow deer bucks in the northeastern part of the map, they might respawn southeast or southwest or anywhere else on the map where you can find fellow deer. So the most important thing you will need to do is visit all of these locations on the map, kill the highest scoring animals and keep cycling these areas over and over looking for the respawns. If you follow this map and explore all of these locations, you will keep finding level 4 bucks. And if you kill enough of those, you will eventually spawn a diamond fellow deer. Now what I did to my fellow deer need zones is kill at least 4 animals or more to destroy the need zone. This way the need zone gets removed from your map and the game will be forced to create a new one elsewhere. This will keep the fellow deer on their feet and moving, but more importantly it will also keep you on your feet and moving. The hunting pressure created by the killing prevents any animal activity for a while, so you'll just have to go to a different area. And I think this is one of the biggest mistakes a lot of players make. Once they find a nice spot for a certain animal, they keep hunting it over and over hoping for something bigger to spawn in. But the thing is, if you don't kill high level animals in other areas, your regular hunting spots will dry up very quickly. And the high level animals will be concentrated in areas you never visit. This is just something that the game does and we will have to adapt. Some people fix this by looking for diamonds on multiplayer and getting lucky or resetting their population files which is incredibly lame and cheating. The legit way to hunt for diamonds on single player is to explore and master the reserve. It will require you to hunt a more difficult area to take out all of your high level animals and by doing that you will show that you are an elite hunter and deserving of the diamond fellow there on Hirschfelden. Before I made this guide I found exactly one diamond fellow deer on this reserve and they have eluded me for a long, long time. But not anymore. Using this strategy and my drinking zone map I forced the simulator to spawn a beautiful level 4 diamond fellow deer. Hunting in Hirschfelden reminded me of my beginner days in the game. It made me so happy to find my second diamond fellow on Hirschfelden in 3 years of playing this game and I enjoyed hunting very much. So if you want to prove to the world that you are one of the best hunters in the game, get a legit diamond from Hirschfelden and show it to me on my discord server. I hope this video helps you out hunting for fellow there on this beautiful reserve and I look forward to seeing you succeed. For now thank you so much for watching and I will see you again next time.